Nanatu University Kagawa Seminar. Kagawa is apparently thinking really hard about this. Oh, I see. Splendid. Simply magnificent. There are still areas shrouded in darkness to discover. I see. So a girl came out of your TS. You're accepting this very easily, Professor. Keith doesn't seem quite as convinced. Then Ray Ray, after the girl in white stabbed your left eye, you gained the ability to see strange things. Thinking about it. Amazing. That's practically a crystallization of information. Even so, what an enigmatic skill. I'd love to obtain that mobility myself. I'd love it if she stabbed me in the eye and gave me the ability to see things. Weirdly. I still can't believe it. Are you sure you weren't under hypnotic suggestion? What would hypnotically suggest me? Or something? For instance, one that made you interpret certain shapes differently than you normally would? That's the correct way to consider it. Interpretation is extremely important. Or this is him talking. Interpretation is extremely important. Whether it's philosophy or quantum mechanics, just changing the way you interpret something can alter the way you see it. But if we consider this in relation to Rai Rai's left eye, seeing the previously unseeable is unique. I'll say this, different uh, puzzles, different people think differently. Not everyone thinks the same. So different puzzles are easier or harder depending on who it is. Um, I would have figured out, I, well actually I did figure out the kill thing. I was like, kill, where do you guys talk? Oh, you're right, it does spell kill. But that's only because I should have thought of it earlier. The kill message is one of the oldest tricks in the book. The whole first letter of a message that's done in quite a few games, actually. So, yeah, yeah. Seeing the previously unseeable is unique. There's more from there. To put it simply, it's like a snake's ability to perceive infrared light. That doesn't sound simple at all. I see. At any rate, the point is that the hardware of Rai Rai's eye has been overwritten via the TS network. This is groundbreaking. Can digital communication really rewrite hardware? Is my eye hardware? I'm pretty sure it's organic matter. Unless because I'm like a cyborg or something. The evidence is standing right before you. There's essentially no barrier between substance and information to begin with. The crystallization of information gives it substance. That's what my course is about. Therefore, Rabbi's left eye is valuable. Also, I need to mention something right now. In the first game, oftentimes, the video game gives hints for the real world, and the video game and the real world gives hints, uh, hints for the video game. So you're gonna have to sometimes think about what happened in the game to help you solve what you need to do in the real world, and you sometimes, well, you know, real world in this game. And you need sometimes to figure out what you did in the real world to help you with hints in the video game. So get ready for some, if it's anything like the first game, there'll be systems like that, so get a little bit prepared for that, because we're kind of swip swapping between these two different games here. Therefore, Rabbi's left eye is valuable, sample that supports that theory. But to think the day would come for me to see it with my own eyes, <laughs> That's funny, because I can't see with my other eye well anymore. Sending you to Odeke's apartment was the correct thing to do. After all... If we go along with Professor Kagawa's crackpot theory... What can you see out of your left eye now, Rai Rai? Hmm... Indeed. To put it simply, it's residual thoughts. Powerful emotions contain an intense energy, so on occasion they remain in the world of the living. That must be what he's able to see now. It isn't a matter of optics. This concerns spiritual things. Spiritual, you say? So, Professor Kagoa, you believe the curse game is real? The curse exists. The medium itself isn't the problem, it's the intent behind it. Since Zayek's ancient times, curses have been closely linked to humanity's way of life. Are you sure there's not some trick or contrivance behind it? Contrivance? If it was that simple, then there would be an issue. There wouldn't be an issue. Besides, the coroner who performed the autopsy to investigate the cause of Futo's death said the murder wasn't involved. 
that murder wasn't involved. Then what killed him? He died of natural causes. What? He had no external wounds and no internal disease, no traces of a heart attack or stroke. All they can say for sure was that he died. But that's... In any case, it's true that Juto died seven days after he started playing the game. The cursed game is real. Oh my. And there's one more thing. Tom's body has disappeared. Are you guys trying to trick me? I understand your suspicion. However, you shouldn't divert your eyes from the truth. This is something hidden within the dark recesses of reality. Hmm. Rumor has it that you won't die if you beat the game, but not one person who has done that exists. As I suspected, we have to cut the curse off at the source. Fortunately, Rai Rai has an eye capable of seeing the hidden truth. Yeah, I am. Well, that said, have you visited Oyama's home? You mean Professor Oyama? You knew Odaka, but were you friends with Professor Oyama as well? That was also the professor from the first game, so I was right. They knew each other. This is a bit more connected to the first game than I was expecting, but it seems like you won't need to know what they were about to enjoy this, but it definitely has a connection there. We weren't just friends. He and we and I fell in love. He and I were fellow students. We both talked about the things hidden in darkness and shed light on them. He went missing, didn't he? Yes, he disappeared immediately after Odaka's natural death. I don't know why. It's rumored that he died from the game's curse. Not that I believe it. That's very likely. I heard about Odaka, the cursed game, and everything else from him. It's true that he became utterly obsessed with that cursed game one year ago. Did he arrive at the heart of the matter? And then the curse? Uh, it turned out the professor had played the game before us, so he was sucked away. And he was trying to use us, because he was trying to help us get over the curse. But of course, they sent us into every abandoned corner of Japan. Maybe not every abandoned corner. I feel like we're going to find more corners of the world here. But yeah, yeah. Rai Rai, right. we need to find out how far he went with his investigation. Can you head for Oyama's home right away? We actually never went to Oyama's house, so this will be new. Then again, we went to Tom's house. We need to go to uh, the other apartment we were started out in, though. Professor Kagawa, aren't there any more concrete leads? More concrete? Now that I think of it, a memo that Oyama had apparently dropped was found at a subway station. I'd forgotten after I was contacted about it, so it might be gone by now. <laughs> you should definitely check that out. Where should I go? Oh, god dang it. They're gonna give me a fucking choice. Ask the audience. The poll results are in. Uh, there were votes uh, for both directions, but there were two votes ahead for the Oyama house. So, we're gonna go Oyama house. Let's do it. Old Town wrote to Oyama's home. August 28th, 1800 hours. To Oyama's house we go. Seems like a really unpopular road. What's behind us? I'm guessing something that blocks us from going backwards. That's my experience with the, <laughs> the first game there. Actually going backwards is the game I intended to TS to act up. We got email. Let's check that out. Email from Oyama's home. Kawago. You must be near the Yamada apartments by now. It's a straight shot to the apartment. You can't get lost. Be careful, though. Twilight is also known as the Hour of Disaster. It's when those who dwell in darkness begin to emerge. Yes, thank you, Kawago. That's exactly what I needed to hear. Also, what is the seven days game like right now? We're still in front of this fucking house. We haven't made much progress in this game at all. I am curious what might be behind. Still, still, so far. I'm surprised to make me let me, me go this far. Oh, I just looked around. This is the long way to. Uh, this is the, the long way to Professor Emma's house. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I guess it would be the long way, but yeah, I just 
just walk through this dark, mysterious alley in the middle of the night. So, yeah. Is that a door? That doesn't look to be a door. I'll tap it though. Yeah, it's not a door. It's okay, the apartments have to be somewhere straight ahead, or so I've been told? I don't know what I've been told, but there's a cursed video game that's gonna kill me when I'm not old. My eyes starting to react. My left eye is acting strange. Is it reacting to something? Well, I'm kind of also sort of ghostly. Ugh, probably. <laughs> what the hell is that? It looks deadly. I can't let it get me. Well, apparently we're not a big fan of wandering spirits in the middle of the night. I'm gonna run over this way. Maybe distance would be my guide. So the eye responds when we're getting too close to spiritual things. We'll run over this way in the meantime then. Guess we're taking the long way to his house. Don't mind if I do. Walking on through. Running on through. Let's move over here. Do do do. Yeah, I guess we're taking the long road there. Looks like I'll have to take a detour. Guess that's why the reason why they let me go back so far. Our Nintendo TS is telling us something though. A game transmission? Now! Go backwards? No? Let's go check it out a little bit. I've become so forgetful lately. I planted flowers to mark the way back home so I won't get lost. I want to go the wrong way. Oh, it's a dead end. I guess that's what it is, so... Flowers, I leave flowers. There's a person here. The place is inhabited by wandering spirits. They chase after people without uttering a single word. It seems that the wandering spirits dislike the smell of flowers, so they won't go near them. Well. So, flowers. Pretty, pretty flowers, speaking of that. I can't believe that made me jump. Uh, anyways, obviously it means we need to follow the flowers here this way. They're teaching us the introduction. Mary? I'm responding. That voice. I've heard it before. Is it close by? Yeah. It's okay, spirits don't like flowers. not. Well, we move forward then. Remember kids, pick all the flowers you can. Emotional spirits do in fact not enjoy them. I'll we'll go over this way then. Let's check on through. Deeper into this and I'm guessing we're going to be soon arriving at the apartment in the meantime so yeah. Yep, looks like we have the building right there. Controls take a little bit of too, but I'm starting to get more adjusted to them, so yeah. I... Of course, my eyes starting to respond again. What's that drawing? What the? I can only see it with my left eye, but how? There are some things which only can be seen with your left eye. Something will happen if you touch it. Spirit wandered over there. Chased that person off for some reason. This person just has dots as well, but he stepped behind flowers, so no longer can turn that way. Ah, moved the ghost back so I get this flowers now. Here. I get it. Move over this way then. 
I don't know what I've been told, but my left eye is something old. I guess we only have to look around if our screen's, our screen's trying to get fizz or fuzzy there. So, yeah. I, we're probably closely approaching to our good old field. Oh, there's a car over here. Hello, blocked carway. What a convenient parking spot you chose. <laughs> Let's go check to the left. There's more things, and now my left eye is sensing something over here, so I will click it. Let's check it. Sam's gonna get another response out of me. What is up here, anyway? I don't know what that is. Looks like this. The way I came from seems okay, I was just mainly curious. I forgot I can run, actually. Another question mark? Go, my ghostly friend! over this way, a little bit deeper in. I'll take advantage of the flowers. I think the spirit's coming from the left. Uh, I don't know which way to go. I'll go forward first, out of curiosity. Ah. Door over there, I mean, fine. Let me check the other path because I'm just curious. If the ghost is too close, then I'll go elsewhere. This might just be a dead end. This is just a dead end. Alright. Well, at least now I know. Let's cross over this way. Move forward for the moment being. Cross over to the right, and yeah. This is the same pathway. Huh. I didn't even notice that. I feel silly for not noticing, but yeah. Let's follow that way. And... Ooh! We're in a rainy place. I like rain. I also kind of like rural looking areas like this. It, it's simple graphics and not really detailed, but I still like the sort of setting. We'll cross over there. There's more flowers. High flowers. Let's move a little bit deeper here and see what all there is to see. To the right, to the right. Bird seems excited. We also another car over here coming up, so I'll cross over. Check him here. Let's go on forward. Hey, flowers. Flowers are fine. On and forward. There's a car. Hi, car. One of your favorite beeping things. Well, if you don't want me to get out of the middle of the road, then don't just stand there on this Breaking the old road, but they thought they had found a fucking shortcut, but alas, nothing came from it, so yeah. In my blurry eye, I actually thought that was a body laying down, but no. It's a uh, fallen over bicycle. No spirits. Probably don't want to approach you too quickly. Oh, there's a drawing there. I see. Go. Got it. More dots. Take care of the cursed spirit. I will look around a little bit after you do that because I know what you do. Plant some flowers for me. Thank you for that. I'm just kind of curious. Oh, yeah, it does emulate the path that we came from because this is where the car was and up here is the road that we took. Interesting. fell over and I guess we circled yeah this, so this is uh, replicating the place that we were just traveling through so yeah let's continue along the pathway then do 
dots, dots. Forward and out. The spirit wanders away from the flowers. Oh, we can move forward at the very least. We also know which way to go. It's gonna be over here that we need to do a stroll, so yeah. Ooh. Oh wow. Red car, you really need to get that checked out. Somebody takes the car in for repairs if it's bleeding out of the windows. I like the gated area. Yeah, yeah. Having fun there? I think ghostly ghost having ghostly ghostly fun times. Let's cross on over. Right. Okay, that one actually got me. Fucking A. I'm guessing that the supposed reason is because we're getting uh, closer to a truth thing, which is probably at the Osawa house. The way to get to his house is uh, really complicated. I'm just going to say that one right now. He has a really long route. Just get to his home. Over there to the left. That screen effect. Yeah, there we go. There's this here we can click. There we go. Found it. Got it. Too got it. Well, let's go check it out. Vanishy spirit. I will say this game has more jump scares than the original game did. I, do, I know there was the occasional one there was really, and they're doing a lot more here. I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing. We'll see how they develop it. I'm not really bothered by it, but most of them aren't really getting me, and I'm hoping that they don't keep that consistently through the game. Maybe they're just having some early fun here, but yeah, yeah. Move out from there. And the spirit wanders away. Yeah, I go forward. It does also help us know which direction the ghost went into, so. Oh, we finally arriving at the apartments? Don't think I'll see that symbol there. Because I do. Will the door be opened? Nah, that door's not opened. Okay, so there's obviously this symbol here, so. Huh? What's this? Looks like somebody tried to erase this one. Yeah, I can't click it. And I guess somebody was trying to erase it. Check to the left or to the right. That means my C TS system can't tell me where to go. Oh. Well, I'll check over here straight on the head first. If my eye starts reacting, I'll know what's going on. Got a nice little marketplace here. Ooh. There went that ghostly ball. run on ahead for the moment see what I can see. This is fine. Everything is fine. Now this is a... What sort of twisted route is it taking us to get to Elwa's house, but still though. Let's move forward. Checking on there. My eye isn't reacting to the thing. Ha. It's a tricycle. I guess this land itself off in the sky, but that's okay. I guess it probably came off the roof, but still though. Yeah, there's a sale. A sale of what? I couldn't tell you. I don't care what the store is really providing, so... <clears throat> now, where's the phone so I can answer it? Hello phone? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cross over this way in the meantime. I will say that the jump scares are happening a little bit excessively, but yeah, yeah. I'm hoping that they calm down on that a little bit later. So yeah, yeah. Moving from here to the right. Far the first game actually didn't have very many jump scares, so I'm wondering what the reason for this is. Maybe it's just this area. Don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Let's. I guess the other path was probably just a dead end, knowing how this game kind of works, but yeah, yeah. Let's move on forward and 
course, hear the spirits. Okay, did my eyes spot anything? Oh, there it is. Yeah, they put it on the right side of the screen. So it'd be a little hard to spot. Let's click it. Take me to my cursed video games. That's there. Banishy gray person who's helping me. Thank you for the banishment. Dot, dot. I'm curious how far back I could go with. Yeah, it looks like they'll let me go a little bit far back. Won't do it right now, though. Dots from the spirit. That means, yeah, straightforward this way. Cursed eye doesn't see you going away. Because it does. My cursed eye sees everything. Well, hopefully this apartment complex is just a bit more ahead. I'll just make sure there's like no hidden messages over here. Doesn't seem like it, so I'll just go forward. Okay. Of course he live underground. What is he, like a hobo? Deeper into the crevices of wherever this is I go. My response is most likely that we are taking the most deconvoluted detour to get to him that I think that we could possibly take. We went through a fucking, what was that, countryside? We've entered inside these apartment buildings, now we're taking an underground tunnel. I guess I do see the speckles of either rust or blood across the way. This probably isn't going to turn over too well. Lights, it's fine. Let's cross over and die. Yeah, these towns seem a little long, so I'm gonna run over across them. There's a drone sound that's kicking in though. Drone sound. Where are they? Maybe the ghostly spirits are trying to beat us to the point that we're trying to get to. Who knows? Now? Crossing though. Left side, I see a root that's beckoning for me. I just thought they got that song right now. I've just been stuck in my head a lot recently. Oh. oh, hey, it's Tom! Tom! No, it can't be. You don't need to chase us through a tunnel, it's not necessary. Let's try and walk on up. Thankfully, Tom looks like he's a slow ghost. There are actually faster ghosts, but yeah. I'm gonna cross over this way. Oh, is he still chasing us? Sounds like it. I'm gonna still try and cross on ahead to make sure that we're okay for a moment. Assume that there's probably a way forward that we can take. Are we looping here? My eye's not responding, so yeah, if I see it respond, I'll look around a bit. I will say this though. Yeah, I think we might be looping. Yeah, we are totally a hundred percent looping. Let's go behind us. Oh, here we go, bloody handprints. Investigate. Cursed game one? Well, this is new. Sure, what is it? Oh, it's only a platformer and I can jump. Sure, I can deal with this. Let's roll. Oh, no, no, no. That was really grotesque. Deaths times one. Okay, just jump over that. That looks like a trap. Obviously don't land on that. Uh, well that was new. What? What was with that game? Guess that's what we need to beat to stop the loop? Let's find out. Yep, the loop stopped. So that's always nice. Oh, we're back here. We really did just loop around like crazy. Sure, I'll go back to the apartments. It's what I've been waiting. 
Is this the place? The apartment building is gone. Wait. So the apartment building just up and vanished. It's kind of hard for a whole building to do in the span of like 10 minutes or something that took us to come arrive here. Lockers are closed, but yeah, yeah. Oh, there are notes here. But yeah, since the apartment's just completely gone. It's gonna track to the book, I guess. A file folder? Is it Professor Oyama's? Well, let's pick it up and find out. Best game karaoke club, Utaya. Karaoke club. Not exactly the most haunted of places, but what do we know? Maybe it's severely haunted. Inspecting roots of dis or diffusion. It appears that several people died there at roughly the same time. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Maybe I can find out what mechanism the game uses to distribute itself and cause the chain of the deaths. Ah, I suddenly got super cursed right there. Oh! There goes the only on my left eye can see. I saw that one coming eventually. Oh. Why did you come here? What did you obtain? You'll die too, without accomplishing anything. What the hell was that? Five days left. Save progress? Sure. We'll save right here. Yeah. Thanks for watching the video. I'd very much appreciate if you take a moment to consider donating to my Patreon, which I am using to try and make this more of a livelihood, not just for missed game videos, but little games to make my own time, and to bring different types of videos to the channel. You can find the link for my Patreon in the description below, or in the video, obviously. If you'd be interested in seeing me recording gameplay videos and doing other things live, I stream quite regularly and record almost all my gameplay over a site called Hitbox TV on my channel. You can also see that in the video currently. I hope you enjoyed the video, and adieu.